is Diane Kruger. It is. Hi. Thank you for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas on the Balder BB Show. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hi. You're in Texas where it's warm and very, very warm, but it's the best place on the planet. <laughs> and maybe you can make a connection with us because your show, The Bridge, is about the border. That's right, El Paso. That's right. Yeah. So I guess you've spent a little time in Texas, I'm hoping. Very, very little. We shot about five days of the pilot of season one in El Paso, but um, I don't I don't know Texas at all, which I'm That's sorry. Okay. I hate to That's say okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Tell me about the bridge on FX channel. Tell me what this show, because this has got to be controversial, got to mm. be hard to do, because it's <laughs> not a little nice, feel-good show. It certainly isn't. Um, I, it's a fascinating show I am, because we really are talking about issues that are very real. A lot of our storylines and people are based on real life events and, and people. So it, I myself got to walk the Bridge of the Americas into Juarez and just seeing it for myself and obviously I read the papers. So it's a very timely show and we forever have to try and find this gr balance of making an entertaining show and yet, you know, being very realistic and real about what we talk about. That's right. This is a hot topic, the U.S. border. And as you know, and this is not to be political, but it's to show how the show is on the pulse of what's happening in our mm -hmm. time. Our governor has sent a thousand uh, uh, reservists to the border. I even mm -hmm. talked to this group called the Minutemen, and they're sending people to the border. So this is really timely for mm -hmm. you to do the bridge. Will we? What will we get from the bridge? Because we're having the real life drama already. I think it, we were trying to shine a, a light on a situation, uh, situations because we don't really talk about just one issue. Um, and I think a lot of people either don't feel concerned or don't know about it. And it's not that it's just all drama all the time and there's no lightness there. Um, I think we've never seen on television a realistic show about what is going on and it's a very gray show our our struggle forever and our, our challenge is to not be judgmental we don't want to say oh it's so great in America but Mexico is just horrible and especially this season really talks about the American involvement and what is going on and who really profits from some of the things that are happening whether it's corruption or money laundering and drug cartels so it's it's an exciting show to be part of and it's complex for sure it is, and you're complex because the last time I saw you, now you've done other things, but I saw you as the beauty of Helena in, in Troy. <laughs> well, that's a long time ago, but yes, it's, it's <laughs> quite, it's a different part for sure. But it's one of my favorite. I got it on DVD, so it's like recent, okay? So, you know, no, but you know, how is it when you go from being the beauty, in a sense, <laughs> to a regular role, and I know it's costume, makeup, and all of that kind of stuff, but what kind of psychological thing has to take place within you to be this in this different kind of environment? Well, in this case, it's less pressure, as you can imagine, like you pointed out, trying to look a certain way, certainly as Helen of Troy, took a long time. But <laughs> um, uh, it's, 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 it's very satisfying especially for women, I think, in, in our industry, to, to play real people, to play somebody who is not concerned of how they look or how they are presented each day. And I find myself being fascinated by the storylines that we have and reading up on something. And I feel like I get a little bit smarter because I learn so much about what's going on. And that's why I became an actor. You know, I, I want to play uh, real people and sometimes be a fantasy. It's so fun to, to be able to do it all if I get the opportunity. Well, it seems like you're loving your career, having a great time. What are we going to see you in later? Because I heard that you're coming up uh, later this year in something called The Better Angels. That's right. It's a black and white picture produced by Terrence Malick, um, directed by A.J. Edwards, who's from Austin, actually. Um, and it's a, it's a movie about Abraham Lincoln as a child, his formative years. And I play Sarah Lincoln, his stepmother. So very, very different film. Oh, that's interesting. Abe Lincoln is one of my favorite characters, and oh yeah, what a fascinating story. Arrivals by Doris Carnes. Just, and I'm the only person I know read it. Me uh -huh. and President Barack Obama. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're gonna watch you in the bridge. Tell us when you want us to watch you. 
Uh, every Wednesday on FX at 10 p.m. Eastern uh, uh, Pacific time. So I'm assuming, is it on at the same time in Texas? It probably is. We can find that out. Mm -hmm. I, I would love to talk with you in the near future as this drama at the uh, border unfolds and see how your show interacts with that because I know it can't ignore it. I just know oh, we've yeah. got thousands of kids and so usually life imitates art and art imitates life so I'd really be interested so I'm going to become a follower of the bridge to good. see what you guys do, your writers do and your producers <laughs> do. Great, that's good. <laughs> Thank you so much. I Thank really you. appreciate you Diana Kruger talking about the bridge. Catch it my audience. I want you to catch it on FX. It's very interesting. Thank you Diana Kruger. Thank you. Bye.